And in business, data from the National Bureau of Statistics shows 68% of Nigeria's household population witnessed different degrees of food insecurity, ranging from moderate to severe in the month of August. Nigeria is currently witnessing one of its most acute food crises in years. Food inflation has hit its 29-month high, up 16% in August, and paddy farmers in some parts of the north taking stock of losses from seeing floods submerge their plantations of rice. One of the major imports the country has barred in an effort to develop local sufficiency. President Muhammad Buhari last month put the stopper on foreign exchange aimed at facilitating all food imports into the country. This move is in furtherance of his sometimes extreme interventionist policies in food production, a policy shift that could push the deadline inflation, the headline inflation figure for September. To talk a bit more on this, we're joined by financial journalist and market analyst Emila Ono. Thank you very much for joining us. 68% of Nigerians. Food security is a problem for them due to the COVID-19. How worrisome is the statistics? Yes, it is. Thank you for having me. It's worrisome, but at the same time, it's not a surprise. Uh, that very data ordinarily is a follow-up from the uh, kind of statistics that the National Bureau of Statistics, that the National Bureau of Statistics has been releasing uh, since this year. You recall that. Early this year, there was a report by the agency that about 40% of Nigerians were living on less than $2 a day. Uh, that's roughly about 800 uh, naira per day. And uh, you know, by the United Nations standards, food security has to do with two primary conditions. One is that you have access to nutritious food. At the same time, you have that access as that when you. So at any point, people do not have access to nutritious food or and as at when do you, we say that they don't have food security. So in a situation whereby about 40% of Nigerians live below 800 naira a day, and that should tell you that more, much, much more than that would have access to food security. So it's worrisome, as at the same time, it's not a surprise. Uh, the the sadder part of the report uh, says despite the ease of lockdown, the effects of people having to borrow to eat is still there. Shouldn't it ordinarily drop? I mean, movement has uh, been freed up. Yes, you know, there's always a gestation period for everything. Even though the lockdown is being eased, but at the same time, productivity will not just jump start at the same time. Uh, you, you recall that uh, unemployment rate, for instance, in the top in the second quarter was 27 percent, and it increased from 23 percent. That's to tell you that much more. more that's to tell you that more people are actually entering the unemployment uh, basket. And what do you need to have access to food? You need money to have access to food, especially if you do not grow food. Even if you grow food, you need to sell some to have money. So in a situation whereby unemployment is increasing and also the economy is plunging into a recession, you don't expect access to food security. So that is why more people will have to borrow and they have to borrow until a situation whereby the economy starts recovering because a lot of people are losing their jobs and companies that sacked workers have not recorded them. So until they begin to recall back these workers and productivity starts and job costs have to ease at the same time, people that have been owed areas of salaries are paid. Then you expect more people to be borrowing. And mind you, this borrowing is not even formal borrowing. It's a formal borrowing. That is, people borrowing from relatives, people borrowing from churches, people borrowing from various organizations in order to survive. Because food is an essential. Uh, it's one of is you you just need it. It's a basic need. When people cannot meet the need for food, they can't meet the need for fashion. Is, is there any the life, Mr. Onu? So uh, it has, uh, it's not a surprise, uh, but, and we don't expect it to be soon. Is there any light at the end of the tunnel, or you see the situation getting worse? 
its its work gets worse. But that is not to say that there will be a recovery. You record that we have record that uh, the economy is plunging. At the same time, even the central bank has come out to say that they expect recovery early next year. So we expect that when the recovery comes, when productivity increases, automatically it means that more people will have finances, more people will have the capacity to spend for food. So that is when the situation will improve. We don't actually expect it to be this year, as a matter of fact. All right, thank you very much, Emele Onu, for joining us on the news and sharing your thoughts. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Have a good day. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.